Hello YouTube, today at uh, powerjackrepair.org we got a Razer laptop RZ090220 this guy has a circular connector sometimes they come in 3 pin connectors but this one got a circular type of connector like that one they also come like in 3 pins flat ovalish shape the reason i wanted to make this video because this is not the first time i see similar razor laptop with the similar type of connector with the similar problem so i figured i will just make it public information so that everybody would know what's going on here's the thing the client says that the laptop sometimes has a smell burn smell and that uh, sometimes when the system is running uh, hot like games and everything else like heavy load movies games um the laptop basically just shuts down or stops charging the battery and that's the razor right there razor trademark whatever so um so the easiest thing to do for you is to lift up the casing when you're lifting up the casing you got all the screws around but you also have a hidden screw here and a hidden screw right there you need to pop this guy out and this guy out once you get here you will have this connector being plugged in right there and at first you wouldn't notice any issues here but once you start removing removing it you will see that um, that it's not coming out really well and when you start to force it at the end of the day you will see this let me switch to a different camera so that you could all see what's going on so you will see this melting right here you see how the connector is melted and you could pretty much see the pins here and the the whole connector is basically melted the plastic piece is melted and if you look inside the cables are some some of the cables are melted right here that's where your burning is coming from right here it's uh it's a powerful adapter and you put the amperage and voltage and wattage through through all this tiny wiring and at the end of the day you get a melted connector right there so so yeah when when you try to charge your electric vehicle <laughs> really fast and let's just say when you're trying to charge your laptop uh, putting the current really fast through tiny wires like that this is what you get so basically the connector inside is kind of bad maybe you can clean it out on the inside and buy another connector like that maybe not um, I don't have those connectors in stock and I'm sure if I'm gonna pop a new one in the same problem is gonna happen in about six to eight months and i don't really have time to order anything and all the parts are usually in stock so i will try and fix it and the way we fix it is by first of all making sure that the length of the cable will be sufficient enough for for me to fix it and i'm gonna show you in this video how to fix it well how to make it work not how to fix it but how to make it work because again um we we are going through laptop after laptop after laptop after laptop all day every day seven days a week and um, the goal is to you know make things moving not just uh, not just fix stuff so so we are moving stuff through so let me show you what i'm gonna do here again we can order a new connector if if they're available i'm sure they're available put it in and uh, it's gonna have exactly the same problem plus i'm not sure if the pins where those connectors are going to if they are oxidated already if they burnt already pins on the inside right there so it's easier for me just to do what i'm gonna do here let me show you what i'm gonna do and then you could write your comments below saying i did a bad job or whatever it is you think i should have done differently but yeah there are people who have on Saturday day in their life usually um, are the people who are couch experts so to speak so anyways um, 
What I'm going to do here is I need to insulate this area, so because I'm going to be working on it in a second. All right, so what I did was I insulated the area around the connector so that I would be able to insulate the cables and those cables as well so that they won't be damaged during the during the the soldering process and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just uh, use hot air to remove this connector and then we're just gonna try and uh, hot wire the connector into the motherboard all right so the, to remove the component i'm adding some flux here and there all right then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add some solder to the rails holding the connector here in place. All right. And right there. All right. And right there. Now let's bring in the hot air station and let's see, I'm not sure what's the exact voltage needed for this guy to be desoldered, the, the, not the voltage, but the uh, temperature. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm spreading the, the new solder all over the place. The new solder gonna help loosen up the mix up with the old solder. The old solder is the silver base solder, the new solder is the lead base solder. All right. And nothing is happening, nothing is melting. So we're gonna boost up the temperature. And let's see if you're going to be able to, let's see if you can, Ooh, we don't want that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, any day now. And voila. Good job. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the Excel solder from all the joints. All right, clean up the board. All righty. All righty. Good job. Now you should understand that uh, that uh, this is ground and this is the positive end i'm not sure if the sides are ground or not we're gonna check them with the voltmeter in a second all right let's see yeah this is all basically ground here and this is all basically plus let's see Yeah, all of those are pluses. All right. So what we're going to do is where the wires at. All right. So we found the pluses and the minuses. Oh, by the way, this thing just keeps cracking apart right there. I didn't have to do much here. It's all just, it's all just falling apart. Anyways. 
So the goal now is to cut these guys off. All right. And cut those guys off. All right. I want to double check how many wires are frayed. I want to check each wire to make sure the insulation isn't stripped to the point where it's going to short with anything on the motherboard. And yeah, all of the damage was pretty much at the connector level. Let's see here. Yeah, some of them right here have melted and frayed. Let me see if I can strip each wire because they are extremely tiny and the design is basically nonsense, total nonsense. Yeah, I mean, you can't even strip it. It's so thin. You can't do anything with those wires. So now I have to strip each wire one by one. There's extremely little tiny guys. All right. So anyways, um, if this thing gonna work, I'm sure I will have about a couple hundreds of those coming in here over the next 10 years or so. So just feel free to make a note that you see in a video like that on eBay. So that instead of replacing the jack, I would be just doing this thing right away because sometimes you can, can't see that. Yeah, I mean, there's just like one or two braids inside of each wire. It's, it's total nonsense. I mean, seriously. I'm going to pause the video here because I have to, I guess, go through every single wire and, and strip it. Alrighty, so I stripped every single tiny wire as much as possible on this connector and yeah it's really pain to work on this because each wire has just two tiny braids inside two three two or three maybe two one two one two two it got two braids on the inside no wonder it's gonna all melt and burn i mean you can't put so much i mean it's like it's like it's like some vehicles, I don't want to mention the brands where you overcomplicate stuff and it just keeps breaking all the time. Ow. Anyways. Let me clean up this mess. All right, so the th next thing I want to do is probably uh, get those wires in groups. Group them together. Some are shorter, some are longer. And solder them together. So they would be in groups. Well, before I'm gonna group them, I need to make sure that each one gonna get enough uh, solder in. Oh, hold on, let me just put some flux on each one. Because without the flux, those tiny wires, they're not even gonna, they're not even gonna attract solder. Let's see. Come on. All right, I think. I think this side is fine. All right, let's do. Let's do the. The negative side. All right.
Right, so we got the first group together right here. I just want to add more other to that group. Okay. Good job. Let's select the next group. Alrighty. Yeah, those tiny wires, they get heated up really fast. All right, come on, let's get into the group. Let's group together. And that bunch is a bit too big. I will see what's gonna stick together, what's not. All right, now we didn't want to stick together. <coughs> Let's trim some of the plastic off. Anyway, I'm gonna pause right here because it's just grouping those guys in little tiny groups. All right, so we got a group of three groups of the positive wire, All right? Well, relative groups. Let's, let's one, two, three for the positive. Let's see if we can make a group of three for the negative. Anyways, Yeah, I mean, this is just, <coughs> I want to see if it would be a lot easier for me just to solder them to the board directly because, I mean, this is just going to take forever. Tiny wires. all really high quality stuff all right so let's see all right all right okay all righty and all righty i think it's gonna be all right all right it's gonna be really all right okay all right all right yeah i should have done it right away 
Так, все. All right, so the ground are all pretty much connected, seems like. All right, so now let's see if we can connect the positive ends to the motherboard directly. All right. good job so the goal now is to hot glue everything in place because because i don't want the any unsoldered wires to well they all soldered right but uh yeah you see like this one is um not exactly how i want it to be here it's it's not really soldered this guy here and this guy you see all right All right. Yeah, the only tiny problem is the wires are now too short. Exactly the problem. Come on. Now the wires are a bit short. Or maybe not. But it sits well right there. I'm gonna guide this wire here.
right the goal here is for the wires not to overlap i'm gonna i'm gonna measure the continuity make sure nothing is shortening and then put some hot glue right where it needs to be all right so while hot glue is uh, being warmed up we want to get the uh, wires connected for the Wi-Fi all right Right, and here we have another bracket which is on a different table right now. It doesn't matter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot glue this area here. I wanna take this guy off a little, little bit. All right, let's see. Is it on? It's on. Let's see. All right. All right, all right. I need to make sure that the cover is gonna close. That's the reason I'm kind of holding the wire down. So that the cover would be nice and flush. That's basically hot glue. It's gonna keep the cables from moving back and forth, and uh, make sure that even if one of the cables get frayed from overheating, it's not gonna be causing a short anywhere here. All right, looks good to me. Let's bring it like that. Let's bring it a little bit more right there. Yeah. All right, so this is how the so-called repair looks like. Let's see if we can drop this cover here without pinching any of the cables. Right, nothing's pinched, nothing's pinched. Okay, so the longer screw goes in right there. Or maybe not, hold on. Mm. What to say? Come on. Yeah, longer screw goes here. Shorter screw goes right there. All right, good job. Excellent. Make sure you're not pinching any of those wires here. And let's see. Yeah, I think the pricing above is uh, valid for this kind of repair because um, again, this is going to be here all day, every day. So let's put the cover back on screw everything together and let's test out and see if it's gonna work all right let me bring the screws from the other workbench all right
uh, plugs like that go in there. And here, let's see. Another screw right there. And the plug goes in like that. All right, good job. Now let's hope it's going to work. Okay, one screw right here. We got one more right there. Some reason they got different threads on the bottom screws. Some of them are Torx 5. Okay, let's bring the power supply. Alrighty, wow, what's this stuff? Found another problem. This is what's called a 165 watt adapter. And it's an OEM product. Well, it seems like OEM product. Problem is, I never seen a 165 watt adapter, which is so tiny. So are they really 165 watt or are they just teasing me? All right, let's see, let's plug this guy in and see if miracles do happen. And I don't see any lights anywhere. Hmm. Mm. Well, let's press the power button. Maybe I forgot to just to connect the battery. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. You'll see in a second. By the way, I know this is a touchpad and this is just to scroll things through. Maybe seemed like a really convenient uh, option. Anyways, we do get lights here, but I'm not sure if I got to, to connect the battery or not. I want to see something on the screen to make sure it works. Anyways, we can wiggle it any way we want, and the plug is sitting there just fine. So it's not, it wasn't a jack issue to begin with, but uh, every day we get a bunch of laptops, people just shipping it over to us, thinking that we're gonna. Oh, it's called Blade, by the way. It's called Blade. All right, so are we gonna be working or are we not gonna be working today? I wanna I wanna double check if the if the if the uh, battery is connected. Oh by the way, yeah we got something on the screen right there, some sort of snake blade. Alright, um guys, thanks so much for watching. Please uh, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, again I only need to
double check if the battery is connected. I do forget to connect the battery all the time because that's the last thing I want to do before assembling the laptop. I might be pressing the stop recording here and look at the recording and see if I connected the battery. All right, anyways, you can see that it's powering up. Um, one thing you can see if it's powering from the power, it's powering from the battery. And right now I'd like to show you that it's, it should show an icon right there that is plugged in charging and I'm keep waiting for it and nothing ever happens. Come on, gaming laptop. Come on. Alrighty, and we got an icon right here showing that it's plugged in. Now, is there a battery inside or not? I will need to, well, I'll figure it out in a second here. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so everything seems to be working fine. What I want to do is shut it down and then see if it's going to power up from the battery alone. If it's not going to power up from the battery, if it's not going to show me any signs of life, that means the battery is not connected, so I need to take it apart, connect the battery, and put it all back together. All right, so disconnect the power supply. Okay, it does power up. All right, that means the battery is connected and everything should be fine. Anyway, so we'll let it charge uh, overnight, make sure it's not going to catch fire, and then ship it back to the client. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your day. Thanks. Bye.